The race to become San Diego's next mayor gets more interesting every day. Well, today another familiar name was added to that mix, and 10 News reporter Allison Ash joins us with how David Alvarez could force the election into a runoff. Allison. Yeah, Councilman David Alvarez is a Democrat and a progressive, and his candidacy announced today really stirs the Democratic pot, which Nathan Fletcher seemed to have a lock on. David Alvarez tweeted, I'm in, filed my intent to run. San Diego needs a mayor who cares about the future of working families in all of our neighborhoods. Alvarez is the first big name Democrat to take on Nathan Fletcher, who just became a Democrat within the past year. With Alvarez now in the mix, clearly a lot of the south of the eight vote, if not most of it, is going to go to Alvarez. That was clearly what Fletcher was going after today as he got the endorsements of the Latino community from Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez and Congressman Juan Vargas. It gives us a tremendous amount of momentum and I, and I think it demonstrates that, that, that so many people, uh, particularly leaders in the Latino community, uh, are ready to see a change from the status quo. Fletcher lobbed the first negative bomb of the campaign, saying Republican Kevin Faulkner is part of that status quo, something Faulkner denies. Faulkner is the the lone big name Republican in the race now that Carl DeMaio has decided not to run. We need leadership that is inclusive, that includes all San Diego neighborhoods. That's what I've brought to my work on the council, and that's what I'm going to bring as the next mayor of the city of San Diego. Fletcher declared his candidacy nearly two weeks before Faulkner and already has 30 people who've donated $1,000 to his campaign. 17 of those 30 don't live in San Diego. According to campaign filings, Faulkner has three people who've given him $1,000. All are San Diegans. But that doesn't take into account donations of less than $1,000. So both candidates could have many more donations in the bank, ready to spend on a special election that's expected to be a tight race. Now, not counting Mike Aguirre, who hasn't filed any papers but says he is running, there are now 22 people in the race. David Alvarez was one of four who filed papers today. He's the one who's being taken the most seriously. Allison Ash, 10 News.